Yeah, okay. So we just got out of that big movie that premiered this weekend. Alvin and the Chipmunks? Hell yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Man, the special effects were amazing. They were fucking awesome. <laughs> Alvin and Oscar the Chipmunks worthy. awesome. <laughs> I, 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 I wept openly. I, it was I know. the most beautiful cinematic I, experience. I, I know, right? It's just Nothing. so much... Fuck it, I can't do it. You can't, you can't keep a straight face at all, can you? I can't keep up the charade. <laughs> no. Who the fuck? Who the fuck put Alvin and the Chipmunks against Star Wars? I don't know, what but they're the fucking fuck? stupid. But God, yeah. it was it was Alvin. And, it was actually three movies, I think, oh, yeah? this weekend, and they all went against Star Wars. <laughs> Moron. I, I believe we call what? that cinematic suicide. Yes. <laughs> Dude, you know what's funny? Because like last weekend. There was like no nothing premiering. Yeah, they could have put. They could have gone. You know that weekend. Yeah. Why? Why you? One why, week before. Why you? Not only Star Wars, but Disney. That is. That is. In, you, you're done. Yeah, you you're, can't, you're not stopping that juggernaut. It's gonna you, run right you over you. You can't do it. All right, we should talk about the movie. Okay. Okay. So, so um, first things first. Uh, uh, if you haven't seen the movie yet. Yeah, see it. What the fuck I, are you I doing think here? maybe we'll try to avoid major, major spoilers, but there's I can't guarantee there's, yeah, because there's, there's no way we're not gonna. There's quite a bit to talk about. Uh, for uh, so before we say you know cut the cut the feed, get out, get out of here. Yeah. Um, first things first, better or worse than this the prequels? Far and away better. Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, judging. Force Awakens against Phantom Menace because they're the first in their respective yeah. trilogies. It blows Phantom Menace right <laughs> the fuck away. Yeah, it does. I, w I will say uh, I don't know if it's better than the original trilogy, the the first yeah, one. That... Um, it was worth seeing. Yes, it, it was, was definitely worth, definitely worth seeing. Definitely worth seeing. And I say that very reluctantly because when I do remember when I went to go see Phantom Menace, I said that movie was pretty good. And then they, and then I, I thought about it for a while. My my actual brain kicked in, and I was like, "Wait a minute!" And then I saw it again, and then I was like, "Oh God, what have I, what have I done?" <laughs> oh God! I think we were all kind of like that, you know. Now the thing with me though, when I first saw Phantom yeah. Menace, I read like magazines, and they had all these characters in yeah. there. It's just like. This guy belongs to this. You know, they gave a whole bunch you of know, backstory to people who only maybe had like five seconds of screen time, mm -hmm. and so it, it made it seem bigger than it actually it, you was. You know what it was? It, that was ninety nine, right? That yeah. was like before the internet really caught on. So yeah, there wasn't a whole lot of you know information mm -hmm. being <clears throat> about the movie. So everyone just sort of flocked to it like a bunch of sheep. Yeah, um, I overhyped myself for things. Yeah, years. this one though, I went in yeah, blind. Yeah, definitely, definitely see it. So I guess yeah. we'll we'll talk a bit about it. So if you haven't seen it, uh, definitely check it out. Yeah, I uh, can stop the video here and then come back when you've uh, when you've experienced it for yes. yourself. Um, so the thing about this movie, like you were saying, how like you were trying to avoid exposure Everything. to it, which is. Which is interesting because they didn't really give a whole lot of information. About no, this they movie. didn't. And they've done a really good job of of keeping the internet off of it. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how they pulled that off, but um, they neither, did. Neither do I. So yeah. most of, mostly we were going by like just speculation and yeah. fan theories. Which, and I was avoiding those. Yeah. Too. Which, to be fair, a lot of the fan theories were pretty on the mark. Mm -hmm. um, I, I try to not take fan theories, uh, I, I try to, you know, take it with a grain of salt, because, uh, fan theory, it, it, it's just theories, I need to, I need to see it, you know, yeah. I need to, I need hard evidence, mm -hmm. I am what you'd call a, a cinematic atheist, <laughs> so, I'm totally stealing that, yeah, <laughs> so basically, uh, one of the, one of the fan theories was, um, uh, the whole movie's gonna revolve around finding Luke Skywalker's lightsaber, the one he lost, uh, when he fought Vader for the first time in Empire, yeah, the one that fell, been, yeah. that fell, um, which is a big part of this movie. Um, I do wonder how they found that. <laughs> I know. I mean, it <laughs> fell into the depths of a gas giant. Yeah. They, they kind of lampshaded it. It was like, because uh, it was in the hands of this, like, alien bartender lady. Yeah. 
And and when Han Solo showed up, she, he was like, "How did you find that?" And they were like, "Don't worry about it. Just take it." Yeah, exactly. <laughs> question. What, whatever. It's like a very good question for another time. And I'm just like, "Fucking." Uh, uh, well, I guess it's just more to expand upon later. Yeah, uh, exactly. Again, this is gonna be. Yeah, they still got two yeah. more movies to get through before yeah. this is all said and done. Um. So, uh, ba one of the things that um I did really like about this movie is they. They kind of went with the one thing uh, a lot of us were wondering about, because Finn was a stormtrooper. Yeah. So, and they actually humanized a stormtrooper. Yeah. You really think about that. Because stormtroopers were always like, whatever. Clones just guys just faceless and, Guys and mad, they're just there to be shot, and that's it. Um, but that was kind of an interesting angle they played. I, I'm, I'm glad they went there. Um, Same. Uh, what else? There was... Uh, Basically, uh, the plot of the movie was the Resistance is looking for Luke Skywalker, and um, the, the pilot Poe and BB-8 had the, a part of the map to find Luke Skywalker, yeah. and the, uh, the New Order was looking for him. Not so the New Wave Band. The, the New... <laughs> <laughs> the new, the, yeah, new, the, fir the first order, the first which is now the, the first new, order, yeah. Basically, like the new in the new mm -hmm. empire, basically. Yeah. Um, so they have. So he goes to uh, that planet, and uh, the empire shows up and takes him out. Um, <laughs> which is interesting because they they capture him, and then BB-8 goes off on his own, and that's how he finds Ray, and he has the he has the map. Yeah. <laughs> which is interesting because uh, so, when they brought him to the ship. That's when uh, Finn turned turned baby face, if I can use a wrestling term. Well, yeah, <laughs> he had he had his heel face turn. Yeah, he because he saw the destruction. I guess that was his first battle. Yeah, it was his first. battle. Yeah, because then um, he was like, I don't want to do this because they well, they actually had a scene where one of the stormtroopers gets shot and Finn goes over to look at him and he puts his hand up like, on his face. Yeah, and there's like streaks of blood like, on oh, his helmet. Oh God! Yeah, and I'm just like, okay, <laughs> yeah. well, you just piqued my interest. <laughs> Yeah, so um, Finn helps him escape from the, uh, the the First Order. I was just happy the movie didn't open with trade negotiations. Yeah, oh god. <laughs> this was, uh, they, they did the right thing. They made this very engaging. And very action-oriented. Very little plot. In fact, it, um, if I can nitpick, I think maybe a lot of it was a little too fast-paced. Yeah, no, I think you're spot on on that yeah. one because I felt the same way. Also... I may be a little out of line here, but it felt parts of the movie felt like they rehashed it from four. Yes, yeah, I was gonna get to that because yeah. it pretty much a lot of what happened was pretty much stuff that happened in episode four, yeah. New Hope, and it kind of went into that territory that people like Red Letter Media always makes fun of because you, you've seen the Star Wars review, right? You, yeah, they were longer than the actual you, movies. Yeah, you know this. You know this. The, that clip they keep using of George Lucas yeah. is like it's like poetry. It rhymes. It's yeah, it's, it may. It, hopefully, it'll work. Yeah, that's that was dangerously close to, to that. Yeah. Um, it wasn't bad. I just wish they hadn't rehashed so much because, uh, it was BB-8 lost in the desert like R2 and C-3PO. Yes. Um, then it's they a droid carrying a vital piece of information yeah. for the resistance or the rebellion. They went to that bar that the the alien lady with the lightsaber had, and it was yeah. very much like the cantina. Yep. Uh, the whole climax of the movie was taking out yet another giant space gun that... Yeah. <laughs> and, I, th again, I feel like they took some stuff from the expanded universe. Yeah. I, I but know... But they changed a few things, because essentially... Actually, no. No, wait, I'm wrong. <laughs> okay. I, I haven't really delved much into the expanded universe, aside from... Uh, the, honestly, like Shadows of the Empire, I think was the only thing I really yeah. got into, which is a shame because that could have been the movie. <laughs> yeah, it could have been. Because <laughs> um, that was a side story. It it intersected, but it was still it, yeah. it was it was literally everything but a movie. It was a game. It was a comic. It was a, mm -hmm. a toy line. Everything they just did not have a movie for it. Which I know. Uh, the other big gripe <laughs> I had with this, and this is where we get into major spoiler territory. So again, if you still haven't seen it and you want to avoid spoilers yeah turn it off now because <laughs> I'm going to talk about probably one of my bigger gripes in the movie and that is Kylo Ren himself yes yes that too because um, I'm sorry you cannot have a guy be that cool at the intro and wear a cool mask and then he takes off his mask and he's fucking Andy Samberg <laughs> 
I'm sorry, you can't <laughs> do that to me. It well, it wasn't Andy Samberg. I know it wasn't Andy <laughs> Samberg, but come on. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, I guess they casted him because he kind of looks like he could be uh, Han Solo's son. So, yeah. Which he is. He, yes, he's Han Solo. He's now the, it's spoiled. He, he's See, the you should have turned back. He's the son of Han Solo and Leia, which is, no. was another fan speculation that came true. Mm -hmm. um, another one was that uh, Rey was going to be his daughter. But that right. was that was not true. Yeah, which um, would have gone into the expanded universe because well, Jane and Jason Solo are. Yeah, yeah. Basically, um, what what I did like how they handled it was um, there was no huge reveal in this. Yeah. There was no "I am your father" moment. Yeah, it was gradually yeah, it fed was to you. Pretty straightforward. It, yeah, it was gra gradually the pieces started to come together instead of just you know that whole big yeah. Big thing, because then then they'd be emulating uh, the original trilogy again. Yeah. And I, I feel like maybe they didn't want to go into that. Maybe they 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 were trying to avoid it, but maybe they just couldn't. I I think though the thing I did not like about Kylo Ren was what was his motivation? What what happened? Like what? Yeah. Where this, where did he go wrong? This is uh this is entering Anakin Skywalker territory. I know. It's because really just like me, in, instead of I will finish instead of story. yeah instead of a, a moment where like you could tell he turns to the dark side, he was he was just a whiny little prick. Basically. I know. He's it, basically it, like an emo kid who's just like yeah. no, I'm gonna go to the dark side. Yeah. He's he was throwing all my friends. They all make and, fun of me. I'm gonna write about it in my he life. He was throwing journal. tantrums and he was. He was pretty cool too. Like he, when um, at the beginning of the movie, when Poe shot at him, he used the force to stop a blaster. Yeah, he stopped the blaster shot in mid air. Yeah, I don't think that's been that's, done before. That's never that been was, done. Even that was, Vader just like that locked was, it with his fist. Yeah, and never stopped. That him. was really cool. Yeah, it was. And they even, uh, by the way, they even um, made the the cross guard lightsaber cool because everybody was complaining about that. I know everybody. Was. Yeah, they actually. Because there were times where he was using it, and like the guards actually came into play. Because when they were lightsaber dueling, he had, you know, they were doing the whole thing where they were like this, yeah. and he kind of turned it yeah, so that the thing and went burn it into a dude's shoulder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anybody that complained about the cross guard lightsaber, shut yeah. the hell up. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, um, but again, he like, we don't really know that much about. I guess that's something they they could expand upon. Yeah. But uh, he's he was just like they, and they explained it because like um Han was just like he's got too much Vader in him. I'm like well he's got too much Darth Vader uh Darth Vader chromosomes. What the fuck? That's why he's evil. I mean I don't know. I it's... Yeah. I, I would he's say he's definitely as whiny as Anakin. Oh God, yeah, he's definitely. <laughs> but he lacks. He, he definitely he, lacks the tranquil fury he, he, that his grandpa had. Yeah, he's definitely got the bitch genes. Yeah. That's for sure. It's like he uh, won't force choke anybody, but yeah, if there's a yeah. control console, he will lightsaber the shit out of it. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. That, that was that was one of the one of the most jarring scenes because I one know. of the one of the officers was gonna give him bad information. Yeah. And I, I was I went like this in the theater. I was like, he's gonna choke that fucker. Instead, he took out the lightsaber, just went just started ah! hacking the console in front of him. <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> um, well, <laughs> a change of pants. If yeah, you ex have it. exactly. <laughs> Which I think was good because that that way it did separate him from Vader. It wasn't just yeah. Same. Yes, everybody, you know, the minute he didn't have the same presence where he walks into the room and everybody's like, oh shit. Yeah, he was. Um, yeah, he was. He was. He was, a, he was a more like casual yeah. bad guy. Um, again, they're, they're clearly gonna, they, they clearly left enough to expand upon in whatever next movie is gonna happen. Uh, I know there's at least two spin-off movies. There's X-Wing Fighter, which, I don't know what that's gonna be about. Is that Rogue One? Uh, Rogue One, yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, and then the, apparently there's gonna be a prequel Han Solo movie. They don't not, need that. Not really feeling that one, but... You know, if, if it's if it's as good as this one, then I guess it's okay. Yeah. Um, 
but yeah. Let's see. Kylo Ren totally Go. lost all of his cool Ky- points the minute he took his mask off. Yeah, when he has the mask on, he's cool. When he has the mask off, he's not cool anymore. Yeah, he's like he's, pouty, whiny, like, emo boy. He's like, yeah, father. Yeah, yeah, I'm Kylo Ren. I'm cool. I wear I'm black. the bestest Jedi I ever. I bought my cape in Hot Topic. <laughs> 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 Um, they, I mean, they they are apparently building up another big villain because there was that other guy. Yes, yeah, Stoke. Uh, Stoke. Yeah, who I thought was a giant. By the Wait, way, was it Stoke or Snoke? I can't Sno- remember. Snoke. Snoke. Uh, some guy. I don't remember. Stoke sound co- sounds cooler. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. ba- there was this scene where um, Kylo Ren and the general guy were talking to this big dude in a tr- in a throne. Yeah, he was basically and- like Abraham Lincoln, if. Um, <laughs> John Wilkes Booth set fire to Ford's theater instead of just shot him in the head. <laughs> and then made him giant. Yeah, and then yeah. made him giant. But yeah. I think that, that was a hologram. Yeah, that that threw me off because I thought that was just him. Yeah, so I it, know. It was because it, then it turned off and I was like, oh, thank God it's a hologram. They didn't, they didn't yeah. have this goofy ass giant guy giving yeah. them orders. So I'm guessing the hologram was made to appear, so yeah. make him appear larger than he actually was. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it'll be a regular dude if he ever shows I, I, up. In yeah, person. he's, uh, well. I mean, clearly he's gonna show up again. So. Oh yeah. Yeah, that'd be funny if, if it uh, like this is just how I am, or, or better yet, if he's like tiny. Oh, that would be fun. great. If he's Yoda sized. Not <laughs> even Yoda sized, but it's just like, <laughs> like his throne could fit on that desk. That's <laughs> not. <laughs> <Snark. laughs> You're real famous. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there will go that route. No. But still. <laughs> oh man. Um, hmm. But what else can we talk about that is not without huge? giving shit away? Um, um, I feel like things were a little too convenient, like how because um, the way they get off the planet when the um, em- the I keep calling it the Emperor, the First Order yeah. shows up. Um, they hijack the Millennium Falcon, which just happens to be there. Yeah, it just happens to be in a junkyard. And then they take off, and then they stall in the middle of space, and then they just happen to be picked up by, by Han, Han, Han and Chewie, yeah. who are, I guess, uh, scavengers now, or yep. some transporters or something. I don't remember something what like they are. Something like that. Um, so, uh, yeah, things, again, fell in place a little too much. Yeah. Um, There's a lot of deus ex machina. Yeah. Yeah. It's um, like, oh, we're under attack. Oh, the resistance I, is here. I will say, though, uh, I, I it's been well documented that um, Harrison Ford does not really care much for Star Wars. He no. still he still had it, though. He still he, he gave that it was, 100%. That was absolutely Han Solo. Yeah, he, he was spot on. It is this not. Movie. This is not like... Um, uh, Indiana Jones at all. This was not yeah, this no was not way. Crystal Skull where he was clearly phoning in and no he he brought it. He brought yeah, it. He brought his A game to this one yeah. and it shows. Definitely. Um uh, they they all did really. Everyone that came back like Leia was really yeah. the, um uh Carrie Fisher still still like def- definitely uh definitely Leia. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And if for those who well Pretty much everybody's watched the original trilogy. If you haven't, then mm-hmm. it's yeah. They there are a bunch of characters from the previous movies that yes. resurface. Yeah, Admiral Akbar. Admiral Akbar. And Admiral <laughs> elderly Admiral Akbar. <laughs> oh, he hasn't aged a bit. <laughs> well, he sounded like it. He did. <laughs> Same thing with Chewie though. Like they didn't really. And Chewie didn't really age. No, and of course three uh, PO and R two were there. Um, R2 went into droid depression because yeah. Luke, Luke Low was power <laughs> mode. <laughs> I thought that, that was both hilarious and sad. <laughs> it's like, no, R2. Do, do they, they don't make antidepressants for robots. Just ask Marvin. No, uh, <laughs> really? Your yeah, Checkers I had guide? to go there. <laughs> I had to go there. Is that movie good or bad? I, I, I can't tell. Hitchhiker's Guide? I, I enjoy I've, it. I've seen it. I th- it was weird, and I know people were mad about it, but I think they were, like, faithfuls to the book. But Yeah, they were pretty uh, faithful to the yeah, book. They were? All yeah. Right. All right. Whatever. We're just not talking about Hitchhiker's Guide. Yeah. Um, is there anything else we need to bring up? Um, um, not without major spoilers. Yeah. Uh, well, beyond what we've 
majorly spoiled. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, I like the new uh, giant space gun they made. It, instead of building a Death Star, they just hollowed out a planet, planet and just put the yeah. shit inside. There, and it's yeah. powered by the planet's sun, which is insane. Yeah. And it it doesn't blow up a planet; it blows up several, several planets. It is the intergalactic version of the spread gun from Contra. Essentially, yeah. <laughs> Essentially, yes. It's like if the if the Death Star was a rifle, this thing was a fucking sawed-off <laughs> shotgun. Oh my god. That was pr that was amazing. That yeah, and hey, you got to see a planet on the receiving end of something like that yeah. this time. Yeah, which that was, was really that, frightening. Yeah, you saw them all say, "Oh fuck!" It's just and like, then the thing just <laughs> and a whole planet collectively poops itself. Yeah, right before it gets incinerated. Yeah, and it was crazy because not only just the planet, but they showed like ships around the planet yeah. blowing up. And it was like that whole section of the galaxy is gone, gone. just erased. Yeah. One of the planets looked like Coruscant. Was it was did. was that Coruscant? I don't know. Cause it was like that big city planet, and I'm like, yeah. Was, was that Coruscant? Cause they they were basically aiming for uh, Republic planets because they were aiding the Resistance, and I know Coruscant uh, was. Uh, I know they were they were part of the celebration at the end of Jedi during the special edition. Oh yeah, during the special um, edition. That's so right. They were. I'm guessing part of that they were aligned. Damn. I kind of yes. liked Coruscant, though. Yeah, Coruscant was probably one of the few good things from the prequels, because that planet was pretty cool. Yeah. Even though it seems kind of infeasible to have an entire city planet. <laughs> yeah. Well, then again, it's the same thing. Infeasible to have a giant ocean planet or lava planet. Yeah, yeah or ice planet. Yeah, mm. doesn't work that way. <laughs> it's not how the Force works. Oh, yeah, that was probably the best one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we can use the Force. Okay. It's not how yeah, it works. Yeah, okay, so what happened was... Um, they had to, you know, take out the the shield and uh, bring down the the giant gun planet. So Finn, Han, and Chewie go down, and they're they're they have to take out the shield generator or whatever. Yeah. And um, <laughs> uh, Han goes, uh, "Hey Finn, what uh, what was your job when you're here?" He goes, "Sanitation." <laughs> he was a janitor. <laughs> he was a <Right>. janitor. <laughs> and Han just grabs him and he goes, "What? Sanitation? <laughs> what?" <laughs> <laughs> he goes, you, do you have any idea what you're doing? He goes, no, we'll just use the force. And he goes, that's not how the force works. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was... <laughs> there I were... feel like they could have embellished more on a few things, but I know they're yeah. probably holding out for Again, the next two movies. Next, next movie. Yeah. That's what it'll, it'll... So it's, I'm just like, ah, they could have said more, but yeah, episode it, eight. It's one of, yeah, it's one of those <laughs> things that's going to make more sense in the grand scheme of things. Yep. Um, you know, again, they'll, they'll Kylo Ren. Hopefully, we hopefully he has a better backstory than I'm angry. Yeah, man. hopefully he'll be less of a whiny bitch. <laughs> I want to be Darth Vader. Yeah, that's really his <laughs> whole back. He's, that's his he's whole an, motivation. He's an over glorified go Darth Vader. He's a Vader fanboy. <laughs> he's an over glorified cosplayer. Oh god, <laughs> pretty much. You're right. <laughs> and he made his own costume. <laughs> This is my black cape. Here's my helmet. I made a cool lightsaber with things that come out. This is my OC. Yes, <laughs> I will win the costume contest this year. Uh, oh, uh, you know, I, I don't want to hate on this movie because it was uh, it was worth watching. Just the, it God, was worth watching. Kylo but Ren yeah, uh, could have been so much cooler. He could have been, but then again, I didn't even realize that he was just a dude under there. Because they they showed him a lot just as as the you know the mask guy, and I remember seeing a, a picture of you know him without the mask. Yeah. And I I thought that was like a behind the scenes thing. Yeah. Uh, it was just you know because you know, one of the theories was that Kylo Ren is is Luke Skywalker, which is yeah, later which, disproven. Yeah, yeah. Uh, even uh, Mark Hamill himself disproved that. Yep. Um, I don't know, man. I I think I maybe expected a little bit more from him. Uh. I wish we saw more of Captain Phasma. Phasma, yeah. <laughs> the shiny, yeah. Uh, the shiny stormtrooper Chrome lady. Dome, I call her Chrome Dome. Chrome Dome. <laughs> yeah, Chrome Dome. Because <laughs> uh, she was there at the beginning, and then she showed up again, and she kind of went out like like a bitch because. Well, yeah. Because Finn she had, had a Disney death. Yeah. Well, well not even. A I Disney don't think death. she had a Disney death. They basically but it was off screen, and it's just like. Does this place have a garbage disposal? <laughs> yeah, it does. 
<laughs> yeah, <'cause laughs> basically uh, they used her to help uh, to shut down the uh, the the shield the reactor. Shields. And Finn had like the gun to her head this whole time. He's like, I'm in charge now. Yeah, I'm in charge. that was great <laughs> too. <laughs> and Han was like, take it, take it down, just calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but final uh, thoughts. Uh, definitely yeah. a solid movie. Yeah, absolutely worth worth your time. Absolutely, definitely. I wouldn't say it's better than the original. No, I, I think I still think the. But I definitely say it's on trilogy. par. Yeah, it's, it's definitely it's on par, it. and it's a good continuation of yep. what came before. Definitely. So go see it. But then again, if you've watched through this point, and you haven't seen it yet. Then you <laughs> yeah. pretty much have seen it. Um, go see it again anyway. Go see it. See Don't it take again. our word for it. Yeah. Go see it. Make your own decisions. Yes. <laughs> Let go of your conscious self and act on instinct. Uh, so, uh, anything else you want to throw in there? No, I think, uh, I think I'm good. Alright, yeah, so that was The Force Awakens. Yes. Um, again, worth your time. Check it out. And we'll be back yeah. in 2018 with, um, Episode 8. Yeah, whatever that comes out episode hopefully. nine the search for yeah. se- the search for episode eight. <laughs> the search for more money yes. <laughs> what happened to the mouse <laughs> all right take care good night folks okay.